Why hello there and today in Star Wars, find out when the Book of Boba Fett trailer is most likely to release and more reasons why you need to mark this very big day on your calendar. Donnie Yen wants to return to Star Wars as Chirrut, find out what he says about this. And fans rally together for Plo Koon's return after Disney releases official concept art of Plo Koon for The Mandalorian Season 2. With the Book of Boba Fett right around the corner and director Robert Rodriguez already building up anticipation for the series, which is set to debut in December, fans now want to know one thing and one thing only, when will the trailer drop for the Book of Boba Fett? Well, there is one specific day in particular that looks to be the most obvious day. And just recently, Disney announced that the very first Disney Plus Day, a day to celebrate the Disney Plus platform and its many shows and movies, will take place on November 12th of this year. And this day is a very special day to Disney, as revealed by CEO Bob Chapek, who said the following about Disney Plus Day. Disney Plus Day will have an unprecedented company-wide promotional campaign. We're going to have a real exciting lineup, as you might guess, as we approach those consumers that have not yet signed up for Disney Plus with a really attractive group of titles to be announced, end quote. So not only can we expect some big announcements on or around November 12th, but Disney is also holding their quarterly call with investors, which is yet another reason for Disney to really promote new and upcoming shows, such as the Book of Boba Fett and even unannounced projects as well. Therefore, it only makes sense that November 12th or around this day will be when the first Book of Boba Fett trailer debuts, and my guess is that we will get one or two teasers a couple days beforehand on Good Morning America to lead up to the November 12th Disney Plus day, which will again most likely showcase the full Book of Boba Fett trailer in all its glory. But will we see teases of major character reveals in the trailer? Not likely because in the past, Disney has made sure to keep these big reveals a surprise for when the show actually releases on the Disney Plus platform. I mean, we didn't get to see Grogu and we certainly didn't get to see Ahsoka in any trailers. However, if there is a surprise announcement of a brand new Star Wars series, which is also possible, then anything could happen on Disney Plus Day because there are exceptions, so anything could happen. Also, keep in mind that in the past, Disney Plus Day was called Disney's Investor's Day, and Disney Investor Day usually came with huge groundbreaking announcements such as new Star Wars series and shows. Now, I'm not sure whether Disney Plus Day really completely replaces the Disney Investor Day name, but if that's the case, mark November 12th on your calendar regardless because we could be in store for some huge announcements on that day. Donnie Yen, who portrayed Chirrut in Rogue One, spoke recently about wanting his character to return and how it could be very possible. Of course, Rogue One was immensely successful and Chirrut was definitely one of the fan favorite characters of the movie. His iconic line, I am one with the Force, the Force is with me, was echoed by every Star Wars fan who left the theater that day, the movie released. And Looper.com recently had the chance to sit down and talk with Donnie Yen and ask him about his beloved character Chirrut, and in the interview, Looper asked, and obviously all these new Star Wars properties are being announced, would you ever return as Chirrut? Because I saw that they're going to use your voice for an upcoming project, but would you ever return as Chirrut to expand that story? And Donnie Yen responded by saying, well, I would definitely consider it. I had a great time shooting Rogue One, and I guess people like my character. It really depends you don't know what they're thinking. I leave it up to Disney to sort it out. We'll see. I believe in Destiny. A lot of times what brings people together in one film, it's all about timing and Destiny, end quote. So there it is. Donnie Yen is officially open to returning as Chirrut, and I think it could be very possible. After all, we already have the Andor series in full production, which is a series directly tied to Rogue One, and even Felicity Jones recently expressed wanting to return as Jen Erso as well, which I made a video on just a couple days ago, so if you want to check it out, be sure to click on the link in the description to check out the channel. And not to mention that such a series featuring Churret 
could also feature Bayes as well and give us fans the opportunity to learn a lot more about these characters, their story before arriving on Jeddah, and the struggles and battles they went through as friends. So if you want to see a series featuring Chirrut and Baze, leave a comment down below. I personally think it'd be really cool and entertaining to see. After all, Donnie Yen, he's an amazing actor. He has that charisma, and I think he'd be great in a series featuring Chirrut as the main character. Fans have been going absolutely crazy ever since Disney revealed official concept art of Plo Koon in The Mandalorian Season 2. If you didn't know, Peyton Reed, the director of The Mandalorian Season 2 finale featuring Luke Skywalker's return, had concept art of Plo Koon drawn up to deceive the crew and prevent them from knowing the true identity of the character featured in the Season 2 finale, Luke Skywalker himself. So he was trying to prevent the crew that was working on the finale from knowing what's going on. Now, as a result of this, fans now want to see Plo Koon make an epic return and inside the magic.net compiled a huge list of tweets and posts from fans who want to see this happen. And a fan by the name of Adam said the following said, look, I'm happy we got Luke Skywalker in the season two finale of The Mandalorian. But I also would have absolutely screamed at the top of my lungs and flipped a table if they went with Plo Koon. And a fan by the name of Josh MDS also tweeted his support of Plo Koon's return by saying the following. He said, I need this to happen. Plo Koon is my favorite Jedi. And Jen Marie also pointed out that seeing Ahsoka and Plo Koon in the same room together would be something special. After all, Plo Koon was the one that discovered Ahsoka in the Clone Wars series. This is what Jen Marie had to say. She said, so Plo Koon is alive because wow, imagine seeing him and Ahsoka together in the Ahsoka series. But some fans have also stated that they feel characters in Star Wars come back to life too often. So the question is, how do you feel about it? Join in on the conversation and sound off in the comments down below. Do you want to see Plo Koon return to Star Wars somehow? Or do you think he should remain obliterated in his starship as seen in episode three? And there's another episode of Today in Star Wars, a brand new series I've introduced to the channel. I've been doing it for about a week and a half now, so I hope you're enjoying the Today in Star Wars videos where I recap all the happenings that have been happening in the Star Wars universe throughout the day. And if you've missed the previous videos, be sure to check out the channel because there's been tons of news the past previous day. So be sure to check it out. But that's going to do it for the video. Once again, I will see you all next time. Take care and may the force be with you always.